when I put my first motorholic video up, I asked for some suggestions as to what I should be filming for the channel, and somebody said, how about motorhomes? Now, Richard here owns RC Motorhomes, and he builds bespoke, custom-built motorhomes. He'll build basically whatever you want. So uh, I gave him a call. He said, come on down, and I'll show you around. So we're at his facility, and he's going to show us what he's all about. How are you doing, Richard? Hi, Nick. Good to see you again. And you. Thanks very much for having us along. Yeah, definitely. Pleasure. So what's going on here? Well, basically, we are a bespoke motorhome manufacturer, mm -hmm. and we specialise in coach-built motorhomes mm -hmm. from seven ton up to 26 ton. Okay. So you can have nine metres yeah. up to 12 metres. And what sort of price range is that? They they range from about 230,000 for something like a nine metre yep. up to over a half a million for something like a 12 metre. Wow, so it's real top end stuff. Yeah, and a lot of our stuff is all high end, so we're trying to use the latest stuff. And my background from the super yacht industry, we're trying to create uh, the interior of a yacht rather than a traditional motor caravan. Brilliant. Okay, let's go and have a look around. Okay, so these are some vehicles that have come back in for service work. This okay. is a 2010 Extreme, which is our first coach-built model. Uh -huh. This is a 2012 RC9M, okay. uh, which is in again for service work. Yep. Here we have a seven and a half ton DAF, right. which is nine meters also, again yep. in for some service and retro work. Brilliant, okay. And this is where it all goes yeah. on, is it? So in here you can see this is a Iveco Daily, uh -huh. seven point two ton. Yep. And this will be a nine meter motorhome. This is in the early stages of preparation. In here, you can see this is where a lot of the furniture becomes assembled. So they might be making a set of cabinets, wardrobes, that sort of stuff. This is the interior for the next vehicle starting here, which is a draw unit. Wow. So it really is every single component is made from scratch. Yeah, that's right. That's incredible. And then over here you can see a, a sofa unit coming together. Yep. So this has come in its early stages of assembly. Uh huh. And then if you want, I can show you where this part starts. Yep. Okay. Excellent. This is David, who is a Hi. CAD designer. Uh huh. And David operates the CNC machine. Okay. So he does all of the 3D design work. Wow. There you can see our new model for next year coming to life. Yep. This over here is the CNC machine, so uh -huh. this is where the, the sheet material will start. Now I'll take you to show you a 12 meter truck in build. Perfect. In the last stages. Thank you. So here we've got a Volvo FH. Uh, 540 and this is a 12 meter 26 ton motorhome with four slide outs and a car garage wow that's huge down this side we can see both the slide outs are out at the minute uh -huh. and you can just see all the underfloor storage okay is going in we've got some electrical plant in there yep with the generator which is all on under this panel uh -huh. and then the water tanks holding tanks and then the rear bedroom slide out which is in at the minute uh, okay, so that's what's meant by the slide out. It's this fella here. That's it. And, and it comes out like these. Out. Yeah. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Let's look around the other side. So here you can see some of the electrical systems wow, in its final that. stages. Yep. That's this amazing. Is all K and X control systems, which is more commonly used in home automation. And we're using it to control the vehicle. Uh, via a touch screen and also remote control so the owner can have an iPad screen he can control the vehicle, monitor the vehicle put the slide outs in and out, check his water systems, do his heating systems and monitor his plant and check his solar yield all via his iPad. Wow, so there's panels on the roof? Yeah, we've got four big solar panels on the roof, two big opening sunroofs satellite TV, ventilation systems, all up on the top set, on the top of the roof. Amazing. In here we've got the battery stack and then also the hydraulic leveling. Okay, so does this one lift itself off the ground again? Yeah, this has got the hydraulic leveling system which will pick itself up and level it. Amazing. So let's take you inside. So here you can see behind you the main control panel. Okay. So this gives the owner full control uh, and easy access. So he can see on this page, for instance, he's monitoring his tank levels, mm -hmm. he's checking his battery power, his solar yield, 
and his AC and DC distribution. Okay, so if I prob one of these? Yep, you can check there the galley. So in that screen you can operate, operate the roof window, close the blinds, operate the slide out. Uh -huh. And then if you press another one on the left. Let's try that one. That will bring up your scenarios. So the scenarios are a one button operation. So that will one button will do multiple operations. So if you wanted to drive the vehicle, you press one button, it'll bring all the slide outs in, bring the step in, put the lights into a driving mode, lock all the doors which are on uh, electromagnets. So anything that slides will lock uh, and then set the vehicle ready for the road. Amazing. And this is the lounge area, presumably. Yeah, this is the main saloon area. This slide out is in the out position on this side. Uh, okay, so that's what's giving it the extra width. That's right. And then we've got another one on this side, which I can operate for you. That's incredible. That gives us so much more space, doesn't it? Yeah, so it creates a huge, big social space in here. And with the natural light that will flood through this big skylight, which is all again electrically operated. Mm -hmm. The other big benefit to this sort of size truck is you get four captain's travel seats. So when you're on the road, you're all nice and secure at the front here uh, and all within communication distance. Superb. That's really good. You don't realize how much is inside of these things. When you see them on the road, you have no idea it's like this inside. That's incredible. So what's at the back? So as you come through, we've got the main galley area here, yep. which again is on a slide out system. So okay. this is currently in the out position. Yep. We've got, you can see here, Corian worktops have gone in. Mm -hmm. We've got a Miele induction hob. Excellent. We've got a Kuka hot tap, so no need for a kettle. Wow. You just use the, the tap feed to make a cup of tea. Yeah. We've got Miele steam oven. We do love a bit of Miele. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a dish drawer, compact dish drawer here. So you don't even have to do the washing up. Okay. Big uh, American style stainless steel marine fridge freezer. Nice. Is in here. Yep. And then as you come through to the rear stateroom, you've got the uh, heads area. Mm -hmm. You've got infinity sink, large shower through there, heated towel rail, underfloor heating. Wow. Um, marine style macerator toilet. Okay, that's on this side, yep. So that's like a full beam heads for it, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And then through there, which you can't quite see at the minute because the slide out's in, is the rear stateroom. Okay, so that, when you're stationary, that moves out. Yeah. And that gives you access through, stick the camera through here. Okay, and that's the bedroom. That's very impressive. Very impressive. And this is all storage, obviously, on this side. Yeah, it's a twin wardrobe with a vanity in it. Okay, and you've got the skylight overhead again. And a big TV on the wall. Okay, that's in behind here, presumably. Yeah. Excellent. Is there more sleeping on it? Uh, you've got occasional berths in the front here. Yep. So both of these sofas will slide out to make occasional berths. Okay. But predominantly, it's a two berth. Yeah, fair enough. Excellent. And did you say there's a garage on this one? Yeah, car garage. Really? Toy garage, <laughs> I'll take you to see it. Cool. So in here through the side access is the garage area, okay. which is also accessed via the big lift up door which will be on the back. Uh -huh. There's a set of ramps which come out of the rear chassis area yep. and then also two more ramps which clip into this rail here mm -hmm. and an electric winch on the front. So you could either have a car in here or you could have numerous motorcycles or a quad or your Harley Davidson. Whatever your fancy is, you can fit it in this garage. That's this amazing. This will take something like an Aerial Atom or a Caterham single-seater car. Right. In the garage. Brilliant. I'd love to see this when it's finished. Can we come back and film yeah, it again? Yeah, definitely. Come and see it. It's just nearly ready to go to the paint shop. So okay. once it's done that process, it'll be back to the workshops for those final stages of fit out, then commissioning and testing, and then it's ready to go. Perfect. We'll definitely do that. But you've got one here that's complete that we can have a look at. Yeah, I'll take uh, to show you a new nine meter, which okay. is just finished. And that's the smallest in the that's range. That's on the Ibico Daily and it's our entry level motorhome. Perfect. So this is our model, the 9M, the RC 9M. This is on the Ibico Daily chassis, the 7.2 ton. And I'll show you a few features on this one. So in the rear area, we've got electric lockers on all the doors, 
and then rear garage area which will take motorcycles or a quad push bikes barbecue equipment that sort of thing wow we've got built-in compressor onboard jet wash system built-in toolboxes this section of the vehicle is lowered to aid easy access then outside we've got things like 240 hookup so you can use a heat lamp when you're under the awning you've got a nice fold down table for use when you're barbecuing that sort of thing we've got a six meter by three meter electric canopy which comes out uh, all led lighting for under the awning the awning's got lights that are under the arms various lockers throughout fusion entertainment system 42 inch outside tv wow that's amazing got keypad entry for the door for security electric sidestep and you might have noticed that the vehicle is sat just slightly off the ground at the minute that's due to the hydraulic leveling system uh, okay that's these things down here these jacks that's right that'll lift the vehicle off the floor level the vehicle prior to you putting any of the slide out out awesome let me take you inside and have a look perfect shoes off just like being in a boat okay actually it's just like being in a boat this is really nice I can see what you mean about the super yacht thing. Yeah, and you can. We've tried to bring that sort of quality into the motorhome by using real wood veneers to the high gloss finish. The sort of styling is marine generated, upholstery standard. It's all kind of marine industry stuff, and a lot of the equipment we use is marine orientated equipment from electrical systems like Master Vault through to holding tank toilet systems. Um, it has got a real marine feel to it. Excellent. So if I start right at the back, this is presumably like the bedroom. That's right. We do two versions. This is the high bed, which gives you more garage height and slightly less headroom in the bed. Um, and then we do a low bed version, which gives you slightly more room in the bed. Okay. Steps up the side for easy access. Yeah. Big scarlet overhead as well. And these are wardrobes and things, presumably. That's correct. Very nice. Okay, and then this is obviously a table, I guess, that goes in the centre. Yeah, in the main saloon area that sits there. Okay. And then coming through here, you've got the heads. Oh, so you've yeah. got a nice big shower with bifold door, mm -hmm. green macerator toilet system, heated towel rail, lots of storage area, and also underfloor heating throughout. Yeah, I can feel it. That's really nice. And then moving forward, this area here, the galley area, you've got a nice fridge freezer, some extra storage. And you might have noticed that this whole area is, is in the out position at the minute. And this is a slide out, a four meter long slide out with a six, 600 millimeter projection. Okay, so basically the side of the vehicle is, is where this here is. Yeah. And great. then that takes you out that extra space all the way along that's right and that gives you all of this area in the saloon and a nice area in the galley area fantastic and all this presumably though is still usable even when it's in yeah so when the when the slide out is in this the vehicle is still functional you can pass through the walkway you can use the kitchenware you can operate the seating system so it's all usable when it's in or out brilliant and this upholstery is fantastic really yeah, nice this is automotive grade leather uh -huh. um, and with this has got the bentley stitch detail very good. And that's another bed up front? Yeah, the forward bed, which is the Luton bed, that's a nice double. Uh -huh. And then you've got some windows in the side and a bit of roof ventilation and the ladder on the front for access. Okay, so that clips onto here so you can just go straight up. That's right. And then in the cab area, you've got twin captain seats with air suspension and heated. The cab is very well specified with the eight speed Hymatic gearbox, uh, electric pack, cruise control, locking differential, nav system, foam prep, everything you need. That's fantastic. That is really nice. The vehicle has a full Wi-Fi system uh -huh. and then also the main control panel in here. So you can control your heating and hot water system. You can check your charging system the master vault tells you your solar your tank level indicators we've got your leveling control panel your electric start generator your satellite system for your tvs and then down here we've got the fusion control which does your entertainment inside or outside tv 
Beautiful. And obviously, if you're having one of these built for yourself, you can choose all the woodwork yeah, and the colour schemes. Yeah, fully customisable. So you can change wood colours, upholstery colours, layouts. You can have different size slide outs. You can have bigger garage, smaller garage. Uh, different configuration throughout the whole vehicle, so fully customizable. Brilliant. So it really is completely bespoke. That's right. Awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Nick. Nice to see you. And you. Cheers. And thank you for your time. No problem. Pleasure.